Yeah, I think that uh, uh, we have uh, progressed a lot in natural fluoridation ablation, so now uh, the procedure is much more developed. However, still there are some amenities. The main one is uh, efficacy. Still, we have some uh, uh, suboptimal efficacy, especially in some forms of adult fluoridation, like persistent and long lasting persistence. So, I think that this is something that we need to work more in the future. Safety is reasonable uh, uh, well at the moment, but it still is something that is a matter of concern in a legible procedure. And final, finally, we are going to face an uh, epidemic uh, request uh, for this kind of procedures. So we need to simplify them in order to, to, to broad and to in, uh, enlarge the population that we can tackle. Uh, esophageal damage is one of the main concerns for the operator uh, when doing a AFI population procedure. And there are several causes, although the precise mechanism we don't know yet uh, is most likely related to thermal damage, direct thermal damage, but still can, can be in both uh, all mechanisms like uh, vascular damage to the esophagus. And uh, of course, anything that can increase this uh, uh, two mechanisms may promote uh, esophageal damage. So the, the, there are ways to try to reduce this, uh, these uh, problems, especially by uh, titrating your power or, uh, or using different energies. In addition, the, you may try to monitor the esophageal temperature with different tools. At the moment, it's not clear which one is the best. And finally, uh, there is some uh, the evidences although they are not uh, completely validated, that by using some drugs like PPI and other measures, like trying to uh, prevent uh, medications and uh, uh, toxins like alcohol uh, following the ablation period may prevent some of these complications. It's unclear at the moment, but I said uh, uh, there are several ways, and clearly uh, we uh, don't know yet uh, if, uh, for example, increasing power. In the past, uh, we reduced power, uh, thinking that this will prevent the esophageal damage. But now there are more and more evidences that uh, it's just the opposite. Uh, it's more important to reduce time rather than power in order to prevent this uh, complication. Very recently, in fact this week, has been published a paper uh, referring that uh, if you, you, you have to decrease your contact in the posterior wall. If you go over 20 grams, the chances of having uh, esophageal thermal lesions uh, are higher. So this is another thing that you may uh, consider. Finally, as I said, the use of some drugs, a follow-up like PPI, but especially try to, uh, to advise the patient not to take uh, some uh, medication, like for example, anti-inflammatory drugs, that we know that this uh, uh, impose the mucosa of the first esophagus to additional stress is something that may play also a role. Yeah, HRS is always a, a very exciting event. You, you see here many new things and many friends around the world, so it's something that I, I enjoy a lot. Uh, I was surprised this year, first with a, a digital health symposium. This is something that is uh, getting more and more popular among the physicians, but also among our patients. So more patients are asking uh, us about these new devices. So this is something that is, uh, is something that uh, it was appreciated. In addition, late break, uh, break clinical trials is always something that I, I try to attend decisions because you, you, you get uh, in contact with the latest development in the field. There were several trials presented. One was the reaffirm trial, uh, comparing the use of film ablation in addition or on top of PDI. And this was a negative trial. So uh, apparently film ablation adds very little to PDI. And there were other things like, for example, uh, the use of renal derivation in combination with PDI, apparently with good results. Of course, there are many others like Hessian pacing and compared to CRT, but uh, I think that uh, you need to, 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 to take your time 
to go through all these uh, uh, new trials because I think that they, they are really interesting. <laughs>